Okay, the idea here is to solve this equation for theta by first isolating the tangent of theta. So if we move the terms with containing tangent of theta to the same side of the equal sign, by in this case subtracting the tangent of theta from both sides, seven tangent thetas minus one tangent theta is six tangent theta. And now if we divide both sides by six, we will have isolated, I didn't write a very good end there, uh, the tangent of theta equals two radical three over six or radical three over three. To solve for theta, we use the tangent inverse function. Theta equals the angle that has a tangent of radical three over three. And here's a little right triangle that you might want to sketch at the top of your homework or test paper whenever you're doing trigonometry, the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, right on the ratios, one is the length of the leg opposite the 30, two is the hypotenuse, radical three is the long leg. So we can see that if we put opposite over adjacent, one over square root of three, the tangent of 30 is one over the square root of three. Rationalize, we get radical three over three. So 30 is one of the answers. Now, based on the type of question that was asked here, I'm assuming you're doing this for right triangle trigonometry, but eventually you learn about the unit circle and you'll find out that there are infinitely many angles that have a tangent of radical three over three. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave that as your answer, okay? I hope that helps. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.